right guys, this is a quick tip for you Aussies out there. Maybe you're living in Melbourne or somewhere like that and you got some crown molding to go up. This is crown molding. Uh, this is 55 mil. So it comes off the wall 55 mil. It comes down 55 mil. And it looks a little something like this. But it goes up. A little something like that. Once the ceiling's on. And the only problem is this is very um it's very shiny, it's not porous at all, and this bottom edge can um it doesn't bite, it doesn't stick the best. And um one of our techniques that we use is um and we've tested it before, I'll leave a link above here to our experiment is what we do is we spray this trim tex around the top but not going down past the 55 mil because you don't want that rough edge um, just above it and it will actually help it bite into it and we've tested it it's the best we did a job in Sunnybank and it's the same kind of ceiling and we went back to do another stage of the the job and I went up and I had a look at the bathroom and it's still perfect not even a hairline crack or anything like that. So I'll show you how we quickly do that. So, just cut that. So what you want to do, I should probably take these off so I can see. <coughs> So you lift this just above your bottom edge like that and then the nozzle is falling off. And we've got a dud can. Take, take five. Tape number 362 and action. So just above the line, like that, hold it in place. That's it. Very awkward bathroom. That's sugar coated. And that's pretty much it. We'll do the rest. But that's generally it. So the corner line comes to here. I'm gonna I'm gonna scrape this off here. I'm not sure if you can see that. But um when we load it up, yeah, the mud is gonna stick to that. It's gonna be nice and rough. It's not gonna go anywhere, it's not gonna move. And also, I'll show you once we've done and we've got it up, 
we're not going to film this one but once we've got it up you just cork the bottom edge and um, with some flexible sealant and that'll stop any hairline cracking as well but that's how you stick to glossy tiles It. Alrighty, and that's it. The corners is up. It's not going to go anywhere. Um, that's just a little tip. Uh, Eugene taught me spray adhesive just above the corners line, and the corner cement will grip. And I suppose it's relevant for whatever else you're using. Um, otherwise, it could just slip. And when we come back to sand and paint, once it's painted. We'll put a uh, we'll cork around the bottom edge, just like a bit of a flexible filler. But uh, that's it. This one is done. And here we didn't, this was hardwired this lot. And uh, we got pretty lucky because uh, we did this job short notice and we couldn't get an electrician. So we put this sheet up and then put our light over here, cut, cut a little area, and then put this sheet up and then pull it down so. We didn't have to disconnect anything and uh, we just made a little hole for this um, water penetration there and you'll see the board is like a blue board, a green board. This is what's called an AquaCheck. It's a water resistant board, suitable, well you have to use it anywhere you have any water penetrations coming through and that's what we've done and that's about it. We're just going to pack up and we are out of here. Comment below if these screw heads are big enough. If these screw patches are big enough, comment below if they're big enough. I think we could have gone a bit bigger. Could have gone a 13 over that. <laughs> Is there any such thing as a 13? I don't know. Let's we'll, go. We'll make it. <laughs>